Senate Appropriations will meet. It's day 63 of the 2000 legislative session. Is there any objection to that motion? No different than normal in the state Senate. Senate finance will meet at 2 o'clock. Except that a colleague is absent. And that motion is adopted. There's no way to prepare for this. State Senator Ken Clover's come to McAllister, Oklahoma, out of love. She was more than special. And out of respect for his Aunt Addie. Little old gal, this pepper and nail. Ken Clover's come to McAllister, Oklahoma, to witness the execution of the man who killed her. We're not talking revenge here. I mean, it's way past that time for revenge. And we're talking about justice. Justice for Clover means Lloyd Lefevers dies for what he did back in 1985. He broke into 84-year-old Addie Hawley's house. He brutally beat her. Then he set her on fire. Addie Hawley died a couple hours later. We wish everybody was nice to everybody else, but they're not. And this guy's as bad as they can get. By operation of law... Fifteen years after the crime, a parole board meets to decide whether it should give mercy clemency. Senator Clover cannot. There's not a way in hell I can do that. I can't imagine anybody doing that to her. I mean, I would be angry too. I really would be, but... Kim Lefevers wants the board to save her brother's life. It's, it's rough on this end too. And I mean, I'm facing losing my brother, which death is death. No matter how it happens, I'm sorry. At uh, this time, the uh, pardon and parole board will recess. What does that mean? A federal judge postpones the execution before the clemency hearing even takes place. While Lefevre's relatives celebrate, Ken Clover does not. Somebody better do something, boys. Now he wants answers from the Oklahoma Attorney General. This guy is a convicted killer, and he's been convicted twice. Now, how could you let this happen? How could you as Attorney General, they, they told me you've taken an active role in this. How could you let this happen? Senator, I... I personally have no doubt that this man is going to be executed. And Mr. Attorney General, I apologize. I know you, you know, uh, you've got to do something. So less than 12 hours from when he thought he'd be witnessing justice. When you raise the curtains, he'll already be strapped to the table. Senator Ken Clover instead sees an empty execution chamber. I'm not frustrated. I'm mad as hell. I just, I'm over and over seeing my aunt laying there with just, Burned to a crisp. There's a great injustice in our justice system. There is no, there is no, there is no justice.